what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to replace all these few lines like I told you guys I'm going to take these out and replace them run them down here just for a cleaner look up here I will pretty soon change that with an N75 like I mentioned as well I managed to find one I'm just waiting to get it in my hands and then we can take that out and do that so I already got the flex hose or fuel hose or whatever you want to call it. I bought two meters and it's eight mil. Let me actually see, it's fuel hose. So it's two meters of fuel hose. And to be honest, when I was in the shop, I thought that I got enough two meters would cover this small section, three pipes. And I'm starting to have my doubts. I'm thinking two meters is not going to be enough, but there's only one way to find out. And that's going to be to actually take them off, measure them, cut them, install them, and see how it goes. I pulled off this small pipe to, to measure the size and already bust my hand open. Flipping to the eyes, man, I'm telling you. Anyways, I'm going to throw you guys over on a time lapse. I'm not going to go too much into depth on this. This is, it's simple. You, you replace the line on the one end, you put it in on the other end. Uh, you're gonna do that three times and you take out this fuel rail with all these lines and you just run them through here so that's gonna be very simple and then the second part is I'm gonna cut up my rear bumper today um, I don't know I'm super scared of that but I want to do it so I gotta do it I already got two two bits uh, also bits I'm probably going to end up using the big one because the big one is the one that we used in the front to cut the bumper open so I'm probably going to use the big one just so that it matches at the rear um, but I'll show you guys that a bit more in depth I'm gonna get this video started start off with this and then I'll catch you guys once that's done So for those of you who still don't know what I just did, as you can see I took off these fuel lines, those ones, two is fuel, one is uh, supply, one is return and one is water and as expected I didn't get enough, as you can see that one still needs a line so essentially I'm going to need one more meter plugs in there and this is where I ran it now so I'm still going to tidy this up once the other one is in then I'll put all those three together. But as you can see, it's overall a much cleaner look here. And what the N75 will do is it'll cancel all of this. Uh, it's going to cancel this with all these lines. I just cable tied all of these together as well. As you can see, one goes for the actuator. That's the only one I'm using at the moment. So if I put an N75 off, that's going to clean it up a lot more as well. My water bottle is absolutely filthy, but this is actually only on the outside where I work with my hands. So I can clean that up and then this bay will look a bit better. Like I said, this still annoys me a bit. But I don't know what I'm going to do with these fuses. I'll have to do some research on what I can do with those fuses. And this is the line for my boost gauge. So it used to run here by the fuel rail, which it can't anymore. So now it's too short, as you can see. It's just a bit too short. So I'm probably going to replace that, run it with, the, with these lines here, and yeah, all in all I'm very happy with that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up the rear bump, I'm going to put some massive holes here, you would have seen them in drag cars. Um, some say it helps with aerodynamics, I don't give a damn. To me it looks flippin' cool and my car's black so the holes won't be that noticeable. Yeah, if you see the car drive it won't be that noticeable so 
I'm gonna start off by pulling this bumper off then I'm gonna tape it up uh, measure twice maybe even measure three times and cut once I don't want the holes to be all skew so I'm gonna do some proper or take some time and do it proper the first time to take off the rear bumper we need to take out the tail lights very easy on the polo here's a nut that you just turn by hand so I'm gonna loosen this Once that's out, the light flips forward and then you flip it forward and you lift it up and it'll come right out. I'm just going to put you guys down for this. And the reason for taking the taillights out, there's two bolts there and then there's a couple in the wheel arches and down at the bottom. off I actually suggested you take the wheels off uh, it's a lot easier with the wheels off but I was too lazy I might clean this up because this is dirty and you're gonna see it afterwards so I might wash that damn I'm gonna have to push the car outside to wash that but anyways so um, I'm going to tape this section off and then I'm going to drill the holes I must measure them but the bump is very ugly here, yeah, seems like something touched it, I'm not sure what can't remember, I haven't been in this car in ages but I'm going to hopefully cut that out let me show you guys what it's gonna look like let me quickly take this apart take this big draw but for now I'll show you but we're going to cut holes that big uh, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll get three in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this and then divide it by two so I get the center of this and then I'm probably going to measure up onto the each day uh, divided by three and see if I can get it to fit my measurements that's basically where I'm gonna cut on the big line that big line and that big line and before I forget what I did in terms of measurement I'm gonna go ahead and cut or tape this side and do the same measurements because I know myself I am going to forget that so I'm quickly gonna do that and then I'll catch you guys once we start drilling which I'm extremely nervous for but we gotta go full send boys it's about time see why people say it's for aerodynamics all the air that comes through there will now be able to escape through the bumper so it kind of makes sense but I think this looks looking pretty rad I love it I'm just gonna clean up and then I'm going to put everything back together and I'll show you guys what it looks like but great success <music> that's gonna be it for this video guys in the next one I'll probably have to turbo back um, 
it's gonna be in a couple of days time you guys are probably gonna see this video towards the end of the week because I just released the uh, uh, 0113 society video today so this one is probably going to be end of this week and then over the weekend or early next week I'll have to turbo back put it back on the car and then we can start driving this thing around I think this looks absolutely incredible I love these holes so much um, this is probably not gonna be a super long video I just wanted to do a few small stuff on the car um, so I'm very happy to make some progress with the car and hopefully we can we can get it back on the road and or race ready pretty soon but that's gonna be it for this one if you guys haven't seen the 011 Street Society video I left it up in I think it's this corner this corner I don't know uh, I left it up in one of the corners if you guys haven't seen that one be sure to check it out it was a fun day at Midway Raceway and the next time I'm gonna film the 0113 Society will be out at cash days at Midwall. Uh JP gave me permission to get into the pits there and get onto the starting line to make some lacquer videos for you guys so that's gonna be a great one to watch out for that's gonna be the first weekend of uh, March so you guys do not want to miss that one but anyways that's gonna be it for this video peace out and reflect your passion. Yeah. 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 Yeah.